So we're gonna talk about proper cell therapy. And what's the difference here at Cellular Healing? Just like there's a proper way to make a steak, there's a proper way to uh, go ahead and open up a bottle of wine, there's a proper way of performing a cell-based therapy. And it comes down to basically like seven steps. Uh, the proper indication, the proper preparation, the proper harvesting, the proper processing, the proper delivery of those cells, the proper follow-up, and then also the proper verification of this entire process. So it's a continual process of making sure that you are getting a proper cell therapy. So looking at each one of these, we'll just quickly go over them. So the proper indication. So this treatment, these treatments, such as platelet-rich plasma and bone marrow dry stem cell treatment is not for everybody. And it's not for every single disease known to man. There are certain indications that we know that it works in, and we have helped identify what those are and identify the optimal patient for that. So we're not wasting your time or your money because this can be an expensive pr proposal for, for patients, and we wanna make sure that this is the right process, the right treatment for your right problem. Then there's a proper preparation. Just like you just can't walk out onto a football field and expect to play in the NFL, we have to properly prepare you for this process. So we have to look at what medications you're taking and try to eliminate certain medications uh, that might interfere with this process. We have to look at basic things like shoe wear and the alignment of your joint, uh, weight control, proper exercise, proper nutrition that we all coach you through. And then there's the harvesting processes of actually obtaining those cells. And if you don't do this correctly, it's not really a cell-based therapy. You may just get blood. And blood really doesn't help you out too much. So we're looking for specific cells. And we have a specific technique that's been proven to increase the number of stem cells that we can get by at least 300% by just doing this properly. Most other centers do not do this properly. They're not properly trained. And in fact, I participate in training other physicians across the country on how to do this properly. And then there's proper processing. So now we have these cells and now we have to process them. So we use a state-of-the-art technique that's been verified to return the maximum number of cells back to you. And not only the cells, but also certain proteins that are in this mixture that were normally thrown out, we now concentrate and give back to you. And then there's the proper delivery of this. So first of all, we do have ultrasound available if we have problems trying to find where we have to go and inject. Sometimes we know exactly where to inject, so that's not always necessary. But also the fact that uh, a lot of knee arthritis is just not a cartilage problem. It's a bone and cartilage problem. And we have certain techniques and certain signs and symptoms that we're looking for to identify patients where this arthritis has now penetrated deeper into the bone. So if you are just treating the joint alone, you're just treating the surface problem. And in some patients, that's all they need. But in other patients, they have a volcano brewing underneath that cartilage that unless you identify that and unless you treat that properly, their pain's going to continue. And so we've developed techniques to identify those patients and treat those patients properly and safely. And again, that takes some skill and time because it's a technique that has to be refined and developed by repeating it over and over again. And then there's proper follow-up. We have to follow up with you to see how well you're doing, to see if there's other things that we need to do to refine your recovery so that you can optimize your outcome. And then, we have to verify what we're doing is actually what we say we do, we're doing. 
So for example, we have found out that there is a bare minimum number of what are called colony forming units fibrinogen. These are colonies of stem cells that actually help grow things. And if we don't reach a critical level, we are not giving you a clinically significant dosage of these cells. Well, we help verify that. Periodically, we'll take samples of what we're doing and then run it through a lab process to make sure that we're providing our patients with what we're advertising. And we're working on state-of-the-art techniques now to almost instantly tell you if you have received a clinically significant dosage. And there's not a lot of centers that do this. So you can see that there's a lot of proper steps in providing proper cell therapy and that we've thought these through and tried to provide our patients with the best proper treatment that cell therapy has to provide. Because again, these are your cells for your healing.